Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will talk to you about a new Flux development model called Flux Turbo model. This model allows you to generate image using only 8 steps. It was created by the Alimama group, the same group that created the Flux control net in painting. And on the description section, you can see that this 8 step uh, model is distillated LoRa. It was trained based on the Flux development model and it can be used for text to image in painting control net and other flux related models which is very important to us the recommended guidance scale is 3.5 and the lower scale must be set at 1 and the most important thing is that here you can read that our lower step version will, will release later so there is another model that is coming on the next day that is more faster than this 8 step model okay based on that i decided to create uh, this workflow for you i will also show you how you can use this eight step version of the flux model and without further ado let's dive into tutorial okay if this is the first time that you are uh, seeing my channel make sure to subscribe i do a lot of video related to comfy ui forge web ui and ai image generation okay now in order to use this flux turbo model you need to go to, to the alimama website on the hugging phase just select file and version here and download this model here once it is done make sure to rename it and then go to comfy y root folder enter model folder and search for lora since this model is a lora make sure to copy your model here and rename it for my case i rename it turbo flux lora okay you also need to use this flux control net all in one you can just use my workflow i leave every necessary link here on this note just go to file and download this model too it it is weighted 6.6 .6 gigabyte once it is finished go to comfy ui enter model search for control net and paste your model here and make sure to rename it now we have practically everything that you need in order to use this flux turbo model the next thing that we're gonna do is to have a quick overview on this workflow download this workflow and uh, download it on your comfy ui and if you are some missing custom node just go to manager install missing custom node and it should install everything for you but make sure to restart your comfy ui in order to use it properly this workflow is very simple actually it is not a complicated one let me first uh, introduce you to the text to image then we will go and see the control net usage and the upscaling process using this workflow and the ultimate sd upscaler node okay okay first of all we have here our unit loader for the goof model you can use this goof model or the old flux development model it, it should give you the same results then we have our dual clip loader for the flux we have our vae loader our clip text flux encoder which has the guidance here included I have this empty latent image, old classic key sampler, VAE decode, and safe image nodes. However, here you can see that I add this power LoRa loader provided by RG3. You can also use the old LoRa loader. Just click here, and you can see that we have our LoRa loader here. It's gonna give you the same results. However, I prefer to working with this one since I can add more LoRa in order to obtain. A more specific and unique results here make sure to select this turbo flux lora then make sure that make sure that you put the strength equal to one okay here let's check the key sampler parameter we have here eight steps and cfg value as uh, equal to one as usual for the sampler name i work with the euler and uh, for the scheduler i use the normal scheduler the second group is composed of the control net group which is very simple too here I am using the depth anything in order to create a depth map. Then, based on this depth map, uh, the control net model gonna use this uh, information and data in order to generate a new image based on that. I use this uh, image of the Chinese woman that I generated using this flux turbo model. Then I change its style according to my needs. The main reason why I am choosing the depth anything control net because it gives me the best results for the image to image process uh, generation. And you can check that in my previous video that talks about control net uh, for flux models. Okay, 
The last group is the ultimate ASD upscaler, which will allow you to upscale your images based on this Flux Turbo model, but also the positive and negative prompt and the VAE decode that you're gonna need for this upscaling process. And more importantly, here you have to choose your load upscale model according to your needs because there are some models that can give you good results with the skin for example but the ultra sharp model give good results with uh, any type of images and here are the settings for this ultimate sd upscale for the steps i am choosing also a step value of 8 a cfg of 1 let's leave the sampler and the scheduler as it is the denoise value is gonna be set to 0 0.20 and the tile width and high gonna be selected to default value okay once it is upscaled here i add the image compare in order for you to see the main difference between the low resolution and the high resolution and i also add a save image in order to save my result for this trial i use directly the load image in order to gain time but if you wanna directly or automatically upscale your images just plug this notes here and it should automatically upscale your generated images when with one simple click okay now let me show you the results uh, that i get alongside with the generation time and we will discuss further the results of this turbo model here i made the comparison between the flex development model and the goof model using this lola turbo model as you can see the image quality looks practically the same for all the used prompt i use different images and style in order to test the quality of this turbo model and we can see that the results is pretty good and acceptable for this turbo version the image looks good for all the, the prompts by the way if you want to use the same prompt as me you can find everything included on this workflow okay now let's talk about the generated time for models for, for both flux development and goof model the generated time was practically 159 seconds and 154 seconds for both development and goof model when we used the, the development turbo models Lola the generated time were equal to 87 and 84 for both models we also made a comparison using this hyper version which is also a fast model Lola and the generated time was equal to 97 with the same quality of images which make 10 second difference between the turbo model in addition to that the hyper Lola model weighted 1.3 gigabyte compared to 70 100 megabytes for the turbo model so i definitely choose this model for my next image projects and i strongly suggest you to use it in order to gain time or if you have a low vram graphic card okay now that we saw how let me show you the quality of the upscaled images using this model so let's enable this node by clicking set notes always let me just bypass this since I am using directly the images that I generated earlier. Let's click Q prompt. And here we have the quality of the upscaled version and the quality of the low resolution. You can clearly see here the details that are really amazing. And this image was only upscaled three times. So you can obtain better results by increasing the upscaling factor. If you zoom in here, you can, you can also see the quality of the, the details. Okay, now let me talk to you about image to image using both control net and this turbo model. Let's activate this group. I'm gonna use the same image that we saw earlier in order to create cartoonish uh, or manga style or version of this image. To, to do that, we have this control net depth version, we have this control net all in one version, we have this depth anything in order to create the depth map, and here. I set the strength value equal to 0 0.5. If you try to increase the strength value, you will obtain different or bad results. So I strongly suggest you to use this value. In addition to that, you can also use different LoRa combined with this Turbo model. For example, this Flux Anim LoRa can be very useful to obtain good results. But pay attention to the strength. Make sure to you to use a low a lower value compared to this Turbo version model. However, if you are using the, the double LoRa, the generated time is going to also take you much longer. So you need to find a good uh, balance between those. Now let's click Q prompt and we will see together the generated results. 
this one was created earlier but let me see if a new results gonna give us another style okay here we have our results and you can clearly see how it is good and consistent and you can clearly see the good quality of this image the details remain the same compared to this reference image which means that the control net uh, version worked pretty well using this model however the generated time was also longer since we are using a control net uh, models but it is uh, much faster compared to the old uh, goof model or the development uh, model version and the same thing goes for the ultimate sd upscale uh, when i increased the image uh, with the factor of two times the generated time was uh, 10 minutes and uh, when i increased it three times the generated time was equal to 15 minutes which is more faster compared to the old uh, version of the control net where I could not use uh, freely the ultimate SD upscale for all my workflow since it takes too much time to, uh, to upscale uh, my images okay I think we are done today if you like this video please uh, push the like button for me leave me some comment and oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can also watch my other uh, comfy Y video thank you